Welcome back, everybody. Uh, week number nine in total, and our first week of June, uh, introducing the monthly awards program. We are joined today by Steven. So we got the round robin. We got Lane typically in the mix. Rory involved last week, uh, Steve, or earlier in the week. Steven involved now. Steven, how are you, man? Good to see you. Brandon, Chuck, good to see you guys. Yeah, we're giving you everyone from the live team, making sure we all get a chance to talk about one of the best programs that we love in all of Diamond Dynasty, monthly awards and tops now. That's right. And uh, we're going to be getting into the week one moments for June. We're going to be actually starting in May, as you'll see shortly, but it'll be recapping the beginning of the month of June. Brandon, how you feeling? You looking forward to getting these moments going? I'm always stoked. I'm always stoked to see what the moments the team chooses over at SDS. It's always exciting. Uh, you know, hopefully we see some Red Sox moments. You already know all the classic comments from Brandon. So let's get into it. I'm stoked to see what we got cooking. Yeah. I mean, don't forget, though, you got Jim Rice and Raphael Devers in the May <laughs> Monthly Awards program. So let's not get greedy now. We have been getting month. spoiled by you guys. It was a big Sox month, which was good. <laughs> let's right. get it rolling. Well, let's dive into the moments. Yeah, we are in week one of the June Monthly Awards. We're starting off with just a couple leftover moments from the end of May, starting with Aaron Ashby, who's really impressive on the Brewers. He tossed six innings of one-run baseball and logged a career-high 12 strikeouts. Let's see if he gets a Tops Now card. We've got a Cubs phenom here. We were talking about this. Set a Cubs franchise record and Tops now put out not one, I think, but two cards recently, right? He was highly requested from last week's uh, monthly awards breakdown as well. Uh, just got in there a little bit too late, but uh, good on the SDS guys for getting him in the game here right at the top of June. I have a good feeling he's going to get one of those two. We'll see which ones. Edward Cabrera, a future star from 2021 for the Marlins. The pitcher has made his first couple of starts already this season. Uh-oh. I think everyone's a little terrified of what could this be. Uh, he's throwing if he's gonna those get a 95 card. mile an hour changeups, man. Like he's just got this crazy repertoire. He's just a flamethrower. That's right. And while he's wreaking uh, havoc for the Marlins, Brendan Rodgers did it against the Marlins, a three home run game. He was also supercharged this week. So, uh, you know, he had a walk off with three home runs. We'll take a look to see if he gets a card as well. And did he, he was also a future star new, once upon a time, too. What's that? Did he do that in those new uniforms, too? Those new City Connect uniforms? Not yet. It wasn't quite in those, but it was in Coors. And uh, there was a bubblegum bath at home plate, if I remember. <laughs> too. Uh, Tyone. Who wants to talk about Tyone? Who's the Yankees fan here? Oh, you know who it is. Uh, <laughs> watching with bated breath. You know, that was it was like one of those nights I'm walking around my apartment. I'm like, oh, yeah, there's something going on in the Yankee game. So, you know, you don't want to jinx it or nothing. But it was uh, a great performance. The best staff in the league right now. And Tyone's a part of it. Nice. So you'll pitch uh, two more innings there with Tyone. Let's see if he gets a tops now card. Lane Thomas, not our lane, but another lane. You know, he's still uh, he's still doing some damage there with the Nats hitting right in front of Soto. We'll see if uh, see if he gets a card. Sweet, sweet revenge. Jose Barrios returns against his former team in this moment. Uh, he's he let's see strike out a career high thirteen batters against the Blue Jays or for the Blue Jays, excuse me. And then last but not least, Bryce Harper had a huge week and uh, he brought the Phillies back there. So at the moment, those are your moments for this. week one. Yeah, at the moment we're recording this, it was Phil's. I think they've rattled off six in a row since the firing of Joe Girardi. And, you know, they go as Bryce goes. So, um, well, I'm also seeing, see uh, I'm also seeing a little bit of direct connection between Bryce Harper and the Phillies going off and his Project 100 card dropping on the site. So, <laughs> who knows? It. Who knows? Maybe there's a little thing going on there. But I'm a, I'm, I like the Bryce moment for sure. I'm digging that one. So remember, you just play through all these moments, and I'm sure we'll do that as soon as they drop. And then we've got some flashback tops down cards. Here we go. Let's start with the Cubs. So we talked about the call up of Christopher Morel. Here he is, 80s across the board for contact and power. Even got 94 contact versus lefty. Not bad with some 83 speed there, guys. Playing what everywhere. The, yeah, field. I was about Holy to say, does this guy? The only thing he doesn't do is pitch. <laughs> Exactly. Be yeah, he had a, a key piece of that uh, that eventual June monthly awards grind. I think. Right. So he had the record 
uh, 14 times in a row since his call-up. He got on base. Cubs record. Plays everywhere. Look at those secondaries. And uh, not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, you know, pretty speed. exciting. Yeah. 83 yeah. speed. Five. I'm digging that. Maybe a five to a player a little bit. The arm at 75. It is guys bringing you a whole bunch of versatility. Yeah, it kind of reminds us a little of a previous Cubs infielder who was once on the cover of MLB The Show, Javi Baez. So we'll see. Maybe one day uh, we'll see another Cub here. Something in the air. Something in the All water. Right. Next up, we go to the Nats and Lane Thomas. We hinted at this. Uh, you know, three home run, supercharged game this week. Bright spot for the Nats. He's hitting in front of Soto, so they believe in him. And, you know, not a bad tops now card here. They need all the help they can get with uh, with building around Soto in that lineup. And, you know, if Lane Thomas is going to hit, they're going to put him in there. Um, I uh, Another pretty quick guy and uh, giving you versatility throughout the outfield. Uh, these tops now cards are getting better, though. I think uh, I think a lot of the, the community is starting to realize that these tops now cards are slowly becoming more functional in your regular lineups as well as those special grinds, whether it's a team or a, a card type. He's got a decent arm, too, so I wouldn't be uh, too scared to put him in that secondary either on my end. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, he can play a, one of the corners, no problem. I'd have faith in him. All right, Definitely. next up we've got Yankees, Jameson Tyone. So he threw the near perf perfecto against the Angels. Look at the pitch mix, sinker cutters, what the community is always looking for. He didn't strike out many, so K per nine is in the 50s. Um, but Chuck, you know. Here he is. Yeah, it could be could be a lot of foul balls, but I'm I'm excited to play this moment. I'm excited to get him in the game um, with the uh, the Lou Gehrig Day feature program uh, or uh, new program, the additional one. Uh, I built a Yankee lineup just to power through the XP quickly, and now I'm probably not breaking it down. So I'm just going to add that <laughs> Tyone card to my squad and uh, and keep boosting that roster. I was about to say we talked about it a couple of days ago, but you were saying that your whole uh, pitching rotation's all yanks. This one's just gonna slide right in, right? Well, yeah, <laughs> I've got, I've got the, I'm building the rotation up right now. I've only got my two best pitchers are the the Messina '96, which is a good card, and the the live series Garrett Cole. So this guy was slotted at uh, my number three. I've got Nestor Cortez on there, uh, and then who knows? I'll keep grinding and see what other uh, Yankee arms I can I can pull through. Yeah, I'm pretty convinced Rory's going to have a full tops now rotation at some point and both of the Yankees <laughs> fans, so you'll be happy, Chuck. You'll be happy. Uh, we mentioned Lane Thomas had a three home run, supercharged performance. Brendan Rodgers, same deal, and a tops now. So they're, they're supercharged brothers and tops now brothers this week. And there he is from the Rockies, and there's, your, there's the answer to your question. Purple uniform from that game. There you have it. I like the – honestly, I'm not mad about his contact or power from either side of the plate uh, or either side of pitching. I, I like that. I like that he can play a couple positions as well. Diamond, gold shield. Decent card here. Decent card. Yeah. One of the best um, uh, right-handed versus left-handed pitching tops now cards. I know we've had a lot of big left-handed tops now cards. The Josh Naylor, the Josh Rojas come to mind. Uh, but when I think about the other side of the dish, I mean, like the the collected Seiya and um, even like the Jorge Alfaro come to mind. But this is definitely one of the more potent right-handed bats against left-handed pitching uh, from the Tops Now program. Absolutely. So there you go. Another hitter to throw wherever you need in the diamond. And then Edward Cabrera, yes, he gets a Tops Now. It was his first start of 22, first major league win. Six shutout innings, nine strikeouts. This was at Coors, which, you know, makes it a little more impressive. Go Marlins, by the way. And like <laughs> I mentioned, he was a future star last year. So, you know, what I think is important to know is, you know, the future star was rated a little higher last year when it came out. So this is only a 90 overall Edward Cabrera. But the pitch mix is still elite. It's got the sinker, by the way, pretty high up there. Change up, interesting 88. We know what he saw, what we saw in real life, but don't forget this year ain't over. And Cabrera's, I think, already had two really nice starts. You never know monthly awards down the line or a finest or all star. Who knows what he's going to do the rest of the way? So if everyone's like, "Oh, it's not so bad," it's just a ninety overall. Oh, I would hold your breath there. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, I, we talked about the Tyone uh, K nine. I mean, this one's at a ninety seven. A lot of swing and miss potential. Ninety seven miles per hour on the fastball. Are there any 
uh, special quirks for this card. I know with sometimes with some of these nasty pitchers, some uh, some right, right. Specifications yeah, no, no outlier. Are no outlier. Um, but you know, again, his fastball will touch ninety nine. Maybe maybe get to a hundred with that four seam, and then the sinker can run up to ninety five with that average velo of ninety three there. So, you know, this is a little bit of a flip from the Tyone card where. Tyone had great control and hits per nine, but the K per nine just wasn't there. Cabrera's got that. The control is the bigger problem here for some of his pitch mix, but he's he can strike out some guys. 97 K per nine there. Which, you know, this is a good segue because we're about to do something, guys, we've never done in MLB The Show history, and that That's is good. what's coming at the end of the month. So a few more weeks. We're going to drop something we've never done before. And remember, play your moments every week. Get these Tops Now cards. You're going to need them for a collection reward because as we scroll, and these will be more Tops Now moments and players coming in the program, we have a retro lightning for the first time in MLB The Show history flashback. And we're wow. going to the White Sox, the South Side. Chris Sale is our very first retro lightning flashback ever. And oh my goodness. Sinker, circle, change, slider, four seam. This guy is a sink, swing, yeah. and miss machine. Holy moly. Yeah. I uh, mean, yeah. he's on the better socks now, but I'll tell you what, this is a good-looking car. When you when you see, like, right off the back, three 100 pluses, like, it's just like, okay, he's already a lock, and he's got a good – we all know Sale. He's known for just being that guy, for mm -hmm. being able to throw a lot of different things, fast, slow. I, yeah, this is a lot for me. I'm changing my rotation up right when I get them. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> and, you know, I think about, like, uh, you know, what these flashback cards mean. Uh, you read the five print there. I mean, Sale in the month of June 2016 led baseball in FIP, strikeouts, and war. So not only was he high value, but he was uh, statistically dominant. Like, everything was getting by these hitters. And uh, he wasn't leaving much to chance. So I think you tow the slab with this guy and uh, it's going to be going to be a long day for whoever you're going up against. That's that right. 99 breaks going to be crazy, crazy, crazy. And that's not, a, I think everyone assumes that's on the slider and it is, it's also a 99 break on the circle change, which you'll see once you Ooh. can uh, check them out later in the program in the June monthly awards program. So remember, do your tops down moments every week. A couple other notes about sale from 15 and that, that month of June, which predates all of our monthly awards in Diamond Dynasty. We weren't doing these quite yet, which is why he's a retro lightning flashback. He had a 75 strikeouts, as it, said, as it says on his card there from that month. That was in 44 innings, which is around a 15K per nine, which is just godly. I mean, unbelievable. Jeez. So max break on the circle chains, max break on the slider. He's got the primary sinker at 95, which is right up there. And then also a four seam that'll go kind of straight at you. Remember, he's a lefty. Kind of throwing that sidearm. I know people hate facing him in Fenway against the computer or anything else. So get ready. He's a White Sox, though, remember. So Chicago fans can uh, remember and relive those days. Yes, definitely That's big awesome. for, that, for that White Sox uh, team squad builder out there or, uh, or anybody else really looking to add a potent lefty to their rotation. I mean, this card is the first pitcher, too, featured in this lightning role, this uh, – flashback legend lightning roll so um it'll be a good addition to your squad there's definitely going to be a place for it i can tell you that much yeah, yeah i want to shout out sure. uh, rory lane and brendan who helped make the moments and the flashbacks for the tops now moments this week and you know i hope everyone enjoys playing them there's the june monthly awards program chuck and brandon there we go it's looking a good month it's looking exciting. like a good yeah. month yeah it's looking like it's shaping up already to be another stellar one i saw a lot of comments last uh last stream that everyone was going crazy saying hey this was the best month of mlb the show we've seen in god knows what but now it's shaping up to be another heater back to back going back to back yeah i, I don't know uh, i don't know how you're going to build a lineup you have future stars tops now monthly awards and oh boy here comes chris sale later this month <laughs> i know it's gonna it's gonna be a real brain twister eh? <laughs> Definitely got to organize everything on your squads because uh, so many, so much new and exciting content being added each week and at the end of every month. I'm super excited to get into this grind. Um, 
I'm obviously pumped for the Tyone moment. Brandon, Steve, I don't know if you guys have moments that you're specifically looking forward to. I'm sure, Steven, I think I know which one's going to be your yeah. pick. But, uh, Brandon, I'll let you go first. I think I'm going with uh, Steven on it, dude. I think the Miami Marlins are just electric right now from jazz to uh, their pitching. It's just going crazy. Like, I'm just going to ride the tails with my mans because this is a good-looking card. It's a good-looking easy rotation swap in for me. So lock it in. That's what I'm going with. Yeah, it's going to be fun. We're going to get in and uh, and make these moments happen. So, uh, Steven, once again, I appreciate you showing us all of the new content for the June monthly awards program being added to the game today. Uh, be sure to get out there, check it out. Uh, it'll be dropping on the game momentarily. And uh, we'll catch up with you real soon as, uh, as June carries on and we continue to bring this month into shape. Great. We'll see you next time, guys.